Hello, I'm Bill Griffith. Uh, tonight I'm going to show you how I get my TJ Bot to, um, this is my TJ Bot, it's a Raspberry Pi, how to um, wire it up to play my holiday lights. So here's my Raspberry Pi or my little TJ Bot playing uh, Halloween songs and dancing the lights. All right, so let me show you how I did this. I have this little Node MCU. It does Wi-Fi. So my TJ Bot is using X lights and sending out E131 uh, um, DMX signals. What I did is I took this little JCT, I think, is the adapter. Here's my little um, lights. Let me see here. So these are pixels. They're RGB, individually controlled. Got them about 10 bucks for 50. Uh, very inexpensive. I got a laptop charger that outputs five volt. I sliced into the connector, put a JCT here. And so these lights, I added a male end here to give me power. And this other end has the data, the green line there is the data line. You see it's got uh, power coming off also. So my laptop adapter, 5 volt, connects in here for power. And then for the data signal, that's the green wire here. So I have that running to pin D4 and then voltage in and ground. Not the best soldering job. Uh, and then this, I just program with the Arduino. I use um, um, the Pixelite uh, library, and I'll post a link to where that uh, code is. So here's my uh, Arduino code that uh, uses this uh, ESP. And you can see how to do this. So this is my little Pixel Pixel Stick controller. This just, I put this out with my lights up on the eaves. In fact, I did, this is the IP address, the end of the IP address, and here's my little control box. So you see in here, I just put it in this little box. It's, um, it says waterproof. I don't uh, really believe that, but probably water resistant. I had them out all last year uh, with no problem, but I put a little bit of um, silicon or a little glue uh, right there, kind of keep the water out. So now I'm going to show you how I uh, choreograph the music uh, to um, do the lights. <clears throat> so here's the song, here's that face, and you just sequence it based on time and whatnot. This is Xlight, uh, open source uh, project, uh, beautiful product. Uh, and now the nice thing is it will send up your sequence and your configuration uh, to the Falcon Pi player, which is what my Raspberry Pi has embedded. There's some uh, videos out here in YouTube talking about the Falcon player. Now there's a Falcon controller, but this is the player and it shows you here it's the Pi. So runs on the Pi. I just swapped out the SIM card uh, for my Watson and uh, uploaded this uh, or downloaded this uh, Pi player for the Falcon and then I can put the little Raspberry Pi out in the yard and hook up a FM player um, but uh, it, it's pretty cool if you see here I connect into it actually I already did that and you can see the input outputs uh, the channels so here is the channel that LED one you see it's just connecting to you know, IP address 120 and sends out E131 on a uni unicast. And uh, the face 
I went in here to the layout, did my face, go into the model, and um, this is a custom model within this tool, and uh, did my uh, pixels, and just labeled them all. all right, said so this is pixel one, pixel two, and these are RGB, and then over here, when I uh, sequence it, I say, you know, here's the music across the top. And it's doing it. And then I say, turn the lights on. And the eyes bottom actually is all these individual pixels. But pretty cool. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope this is helpful. Uh, people have asked me a lot about how I do my holiday lights. And so I thought I would share this. 